Hello, Lola's. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I am here with Noah Poo, and Noah is the Willow Asleep, um, the prototype number two by Claire Teller Dolls. And um, I am. Guys, oh yeah, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And also, guys, I will be going live tonight in the chatterbox. Um, so we will be getting prepared for that. I will be cleaning my nursery so that we can do live um, here in the nursery um, tonight for a little bit of chat. So I was sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, you know what? It's pretty, um, fill in to see if I have any of my K, my KY, yes. Um, it's actually pretty nice to do both, both sides because I think in the chatterbox, you know, I'm a little bit more free with my words. Um, but nevertheless... Um, I love you guys in the gym pop. Um, Mr. Noah Poo. So I've been checking, tracking on my baby, the next baby to arrive. And, um, I don't know. She's, she's, she's tracking slow. So it'll be a while. Um, and then we, um, you guys know I have packages coming in and I will be doing a haul. Um, I did shopping for my toddler and shopping for my boy baby. Um, so, yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited about the things to come. Um, there will be, I'm making a lot of changes. There's a lot of babies that I will be painting that is going out to new mommies. Um, I did accept a few, um, private orders, which I am, I think I've accepted all of them that I will be accepting, um, cause I, I think I'm at my full capacity at that, at this rate. Now, um, I'm trying to, trying so hard to finish up Maddie, but like I said, I don't want to rush her. Um, and, um. So I've been working on her since early this morning as well. And um, I'm working on Susu by Natalie Blick. Um, at this rate, most of my Reborns that I paint will be going up for sale once they're finished. Um, I have Lulu by Joanna Kazmarak as well that will be painted to sell. Um, well, else? Um... Yeah, so I have I have a couple and the babies that I have that's you know like um Brooklyn she will be staying and it's funny I was sitting here and I was um talking to my guy last night I was just you know taking a moment taking a breather because I had a long day and I was sitting in the rocker and um we were just chatting and I he you know it's funny because I think a lot of my friends that collect their guys or their husbands or whatever um, kind of, you know, think the same way about the dolls. Um, but then there are a few that, that that are supportive in a different way. He's very supportive of my hobby and definitely of my painting. Um, but <laughs> every doll is for sale to him. Like, no doll is safe. If it, if it was up to him, the only doll that is safe in here is Noah. That is the only... Noah and Paris is the only doll that cannot be sold. Like, everybody else is like, bye, baby. Like, he... he, he He's like, yeah. Noah is the only one. Nope. So, to be honest, um, that's... That, even if I wanted to sell Noah, I wouldn't be able to sell Noah. Um... And, um, cause as you guys know, he, Noah was, um, a gift from him to me. So, 
there's um Noah and then um Paris he just likes Paris he's always liked Paris and um so and she's been with me longer than anybody I think um she will be working on her seventh year um with me so yeah and she's a reborn for those that's new to my channel she's a vinyl reborn so you know and she still look exactly the same as when i first got her so um these these dolls can last a long time um it's definitely up to you and how you take care of them and um how they are how well they are made as well um Paris was was a custom made just for me and at the time you know the artist knew that I dressed my babies um a lot at the time um a lot more than I do now and so she was extra seal so her um texture is very thick it was very very thick when she she put it on her and um and I've always been fascinated with um texture it's so good it's, it's so good it's so so good. And I was supposed to be getting you changed. I mean. <laughs> um so so yeah, so it's um so yeah, so you know I think I caught a glimpse and I gotta catch up on um her video um on her her video I haven't I haven't watched it I just saw the title come across um uh spring buds where she was talking about the, uh, the things that we collect in this hobby and I saw her holding up like a stack of clothes in the thumbnail but um without even watching it which I am going to go and watch I will will say he got a piece of my hair on him um that you know the the hobby itself you know it is definitely not a hobby that the hobby can can be expensive just even with the accessories because i know for me i have a pamper fetish i love collecting a bunch of different um uh, pamper prints um the pamper prints, I like the, the pamper, um, I don't know, if I really like the print, I get them in different sizes so that all my babies can wear them. And I kind of like that these are kind of, it's got kind of crunch, scrunched up on him. I may not even change. I think I'm going to leave it on him because I like that it's, it's scrunched up on him now. Um, I actually just put him on this, but I'm going to put him on this little pants outfit. Um. Should I keep him on? No, I'm gonna take him off of this. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add him on the pants. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put him on the onesie. I'm gonna add him on the pants and I'm gonna put him on the bed. Oops. That's okay, it was nothing but the, the thing. But yeah, I'm gonna put him on the pants and I'm gonna add the bib. I tore the the thing right here. But um but yeah, I, I have pampers. I do like odd pacifiers when I can find them. Um I I used to collect them more so than I do now the pacifiers, but I've never been big on bottles because I didn't like having to seal them. But now I think that I've learned to, that I can seal them with the uh, silicone. <laughs> now that I have silicone on hand because I'm painting with it, um, I think I will collect a little bit more, um, a little bit more bottles as well. Um, I'm really excited about um, a few kits that I just seen came out too. Look, look at this little boy. Oh, let me take off his hat. I, I did that because I wanted him to have that, 
that newborn look. <laughs> he need his hairbrush now. Oh man, I um he got all these fuzzies, fuzzy wuzzies, but um. It says precious cargo. Um, and then one point I was collecting hats because I was having a lot of ball babies. I haven't did that in a while, but I think I'm gonna get back into it because I'm painting a lot. And um, again, so I'll probably get back into that. So you between the clothes and all that stuff, and I don't I don't spend a lot of money per se on clothes, like per item. But it still adds up. Um, but I think. I think that, you know, every now and then I do buy like a really nice outfit or two. Um, I did shop differently for my toddler. And I did buy some, you know, some different little things that I really, really like for um, my boy. And you know, it's funny because when you buy stuff, like you'll buy stuff, I don't know about you guys, but you'll buy stuff for a baby before they get here. And then when you get the clothes or when you get the baby, it changes on who actually end up wearing the clothes. Because like this was supposed to be for the other baby too. But I'm like, nope, it's just Noah's. So, so yeah, so it's, um, but yeah, it's a lot of um, new new things out. Um, you got um, a lot of new silicone artists out here that's coming out with silicone babies. And a lot of new dolls coming out. And I'm just really getting really excited about the hobby right now. It's just a lot, a lot going on. A lot of um, some really cute reborns coming out. And, you know, I, I know a lot of, I've heard a lot of collectors starting to wonder if the, um, if the Reborns are going to be in jeopardy because of the silicone babies that's coming out or, you know, it's, it's like people are getting really silicone crazy and stuff like that, really into the silicone. But the, the truth of the matter is, is that everybody can't afford that price tag. And the, the other truth of the matter is, is that, um, the Reborns are more accessible and there are a lot more faces in Reborns. And so there's a, a bigger variety. So I will always, when I say always, I will always collect my Reborns. I will always love the Reborns. Um, the dressing, the posing is just, you know, endless with, with them. Now I will say with the softer silicone, we, we are getting there where it is, it is very close to, you know, having a reborn and being able to get those babies in those, those poses and stuff like that. But it's just, to me, just having both mediums is just amazing. So, um, it'll always, for me, it'll always be the two. I'll always go between the two. So, and like I said, um, I definitely love silicone first, <laughs> but I've really been getting into my reborns. I think I, I, I think I, how should I put this? As much as I hate to admit it, I think I get a lot more comfortable dressing my uh, reborns out more frequently i'm looking at the crease on that baby arm i'm gonna have to lighten that up that crease is a little too dark yep i'm gonna do that right when i stop this video um that's why sometimes i, I like to look at my baby like just let them sit for a minute and look at them that crease is way too dark so um anyway guys i'm definitely gotta go now especially since i, I noticed that um because it's gonna irritate me and i'm not gonna be able to concentrate on what i'm talking about but we hope to see you guys in the chatterbox a little bit later. I will get some little pictures of him. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure that you follow me on Instagram so that you can see pictures of my babies. And also, I'm now, you know, uploading a little bit of my, you know, 
other like me and Gabby and stuff like that our days and stuff like that so it's other stuff on Instagram all right thanks for watching bye